This Scorecon training video covers a feature found in the Leads and Under Projects called Drawing Specs and Invitations to Bid. Specifically in this training video, we're talking about drawings. A drawing log is designed to track project plans and revisions. As an option, the actual CAD, PDF, TIFF, or JPEG file can be uploaded and linked to a drawing log record. CoreCon provides drawing disciplines, which is a list found in global settings that can be customized for your company. These are used to categorize drawing log records and can be set up in global settings. A drawing listing includes the latest drawing revision that will be shown and not the original to avoid confusion. There are two listing types, simple listing and card style. The latter will show the drawing thumbnail but only if one file is linked to the drawing log record. These features can be found under leads or under projects. If you go to the drawings and specs tab, you'll be able to find this here. If you go to the quick links, you'll also find it down under the estimating department, drawing specs and invitation to bid. CoreCon provides a bursting feature which will convert a large PDF file of multiple drawings into individual pages. External files that have been uploaded and linked to drawing records are typically shared with subcontractors and suppliers through the invitation to bid feature and the request for pricing feature. Drawing logs can be referenced on change proposals, change orders, subcontract change orders, RFIs, submittals, and work orders. Before we begin adding drawings, we should go to the global settings. Under feature settings, under drawings, you may want to update the drawing disciplines. The samples that CoreCon provides can be edited, added to, or deleted. We do recommend that you add one drawing discipline called addendum. Back to the project. There are numerous ways to add drawings throughout CoreCon. Under the leads module, there's a wizard to add a new lead. One of the steps is to add drawings. Likewise, projects also has a wizard to add a new project, which also gives you the opportunity to upload drawings. For the most part, these wizards allow you to drag and drop drawings as records into a new project or a new lead. For this demonstration, we're gonna be using the projects feature under Drawing Specs Invitations to Bid and Drawings and Specs. To add a new drawing manually, go to Actions and click Add Manually. We're going to add a new drawing by simply dragging and dropping that into a rectangle. The other option would have been to click in that rectangle and CoreCom will pull up a file browser to select from. You can add more than one at a time by dragging additional files into this rectangle. Although it's not required, you can also associate the drawing with a specific contract, especially if you have more than one. Then click Next. It's important to get drawing titles correct. These appear throughout CoreCon, but especially on prime contracts and subcontracts. Most prime contracts and subcontracts have a reference to a list of drawings. We want to clearly show how those drawings are titled. If we look at the bottom right hand corner, of that drawing in the architects panel we can see the title of this document so we're just going to call it a5 building elevations and details we'll also adjust the most current release date or revision date selected discipline and if this pdf file included multiple pages and you choose to break those into individual pages each with its own individual file you have a bursting option then click Create. Now that we have that drawing added, we can take a look at these drawings in card style as a simple listing, and we can also see revision details. At times, additional revisions to drawings occur. It might be because when you set up a project, you may start with a bid set or a permit set of drawings. Later, you'll receive a build set. It may also be that Drawings are updated as part of an addendum 
or as a response to an RFI. Whichever is the case, we want to update drawing revisions and at the same time archive a copy of the original drawing that was uploaded as part of the permanent record, but by having a more recent version would allow suppliers and subcontractors to see that most current revision only. That also saves on some confusion. To add a new revision to an existing drawing, I want to select a drawing that I want to add a new revision to. I'm going to select the drawing number. I'm going to click the Add Drawing Revision option. Corcon has already suggested a new drawing number and new title and is using the current date as the release date. I'm going to just correct that and then choose File. I'm going to select the newest revision and click Open. Then I'm going to click Save and Close. If we go back to the drawing list, we're going to now see that the currently visible version of this drawing is the A4-R, representing the revised version. If we go back over to the revision detail, we can now see that the most current version is the A4-R. The A4 version is not deleted, it will remain in CoreCon as part of the permanent record, but suppliers and subcontractors are only going to be able to see the A4-R, which is the most current revision. You can also import a list of drawings, and CoreCon provides a Microsoft Excel import template for that purpose. To find that, go to the Help Articles, to Getting Started, to CoreCon Import Options from Microsoft Excel, and to Drawing Log. CoreCon has the instructions and some notes and reminders at the bottom, the available fields that you can import to, and a sample. Notice that when you import a drawing list from an Excel import template, only the basic labels and descriptions are imported. The files themselves can be added after the fact by dragging and dropping those into each one of these records. Many times your drawing log can be copied from one of the first few pages in a set of drawings and paste it into an Excel spreadsheet. As long as these column headings represent the CoreCon fields, CoreCon will let you import these in any order. There's no particular order. Now that we have this ready, I'm just going to click File Save. I'm going to close it. I'm going to go to Actions and Import from Excel. I'm going to choose File and we'll select the Drawing Log and click open. All five of those drawing labels, the revision dates, and so forth were imported. If we go back to the drawing list and look at the simple listing, you can see the drawings now have been imported. You also notice they do not have an attachment. So once you have these in, it's very easy just to click on each one individually and drag and drop the copy of that page into the small rectangle. You can also link existing or add new. Back to the drawing list. And back to card style. And back to revision details. If you'd like to know more about the information found in this training video, we encourage you to go to the knowledge base, to leads and projects, to drawing specs and invitations to bid, and review the additional articles found under the feature drawings. Those articles include the information found in this training video, as well as additional and more detailed information you might find helpful.